Beach College graduate on the scene here at Six Flags St. Louis. When am I gonna make my first ride? Obviously, it's gotta be Screaming Eagle. Man, there is nothing like a front row Zen ride on Screaming Eagle to start off your day. It was definitely rougher than I'm used to because it was red train, but it was still a lot of fun. And plus it is hot out, so the breeze felt really nice. Now I'm gonna go down towards Rookie Racer and try for Zen ride on that because I almost had one last time, but didn't quite get it. So maybe today's the day. Not the first rider on this one either, but that's totally okay. I already got first ride on Eagle, so I'm satisfied. I was gonna ride the front with some people from the middle of the train. Got up and they sat in the front, which I'm like, okay. At least the back was still optional. So I got, what is my opinion? The second best row. So yeah, I went from thinking this a back row ride to now a front front row ride because the sense speed is a little bit better on the front and i realized that the air time on the drop isn't quite as good as i thought it was originally i do see we have some stuff here with joker and you guys might have seen my construction update for that one recently so i'll uh, ride this one again try for the front row this time so i'm my dead ride in the front row in line for boss now the little little purple train so green train sitting here empty right now. But I didn't get that much room on it. But for me, the intensity is what stole the show for me today. Coaster Dash, I think in a few of his videos said this is the most intense wind coaster he's been on. I don't blame him for saying that. This thing is a riot. Definitely coming back to this one later. We got rookie racing going right now, which I am not gonna talk about that one unfortunately. Now let's go to Justice League and get my first max on that one since I graduated college last week. I just used what was the glitchy blaster on Justice League, and I say what was because they fixed it. So it's back to shooting normally now, which I'm kind of glad they got that fixed. But at the same time, part of me wishes it was still glitched up so I could shoot all of them at the same time, which is hilarious. That's not my favorite memory of this thing so far this year, is shooting all six and making the car act up all weird. Well, not really the car, but the screens. Anyway, Mr. Freaks is next, and we'll see how this one's running today, because Boss is running amazing. He'll be pretty tough to beat, but let's see if Mr. Freaks can do it. Thank you. 
there's multiple tramway for each row over there, and there's only like a one tramway for each row over here on side A. So I think I'm playing my cards right with this one. feeling at that time. It was still good, but I've seen it run much better than that. Out of the four rides I've done on Mr. Freeze, I think the back row of Side B was my favorite ride of the day, honestly. I rarely find Side B to be better than Side A, but I would say today is an exception to that. Back row Side B was definitely the most intense, I would say, and hit a lot harder this time compared to any of my other three rides. Even front of Side B, I thought was better than Side A. This thing might be something I come back to later, but I don't know. Maybe I should ride it one more time later on, as this very well could be the last visit I make to this park for quite some time, because in a couple weeks, I'll be going to Six Flags over Texas and riding this thing forwards, and I'm so excited to do that. That's definitely my most anticipated ride experience of the summer is riding this one in the front row of the forwards train. My vehicle got sent in way too early just now. It was so early, in fact, that I saw the vehicle ahead of me in front of the Joker animatronic in the next room while I was at the first screen. I've never seen it like that before, so that's just crazy. And it's supposed to wait on the screen if the vehicle's too far ahead of it, but it didn't wait at the first screen for whatever reason, so the second screen didn't reset. I still got it, but it was not as easy as it should have been. While at the second screen, I saw the hologram for Lex Luthor fading out, so I knew we were way too early. The ride did correct itself in LexCorp, like our vehicle waited for the vehicle ahead of it to get past the point before we started heading out, so thank goodness for my correcting this up there, otherwise I probably would have missed it.
solid. I don't think it was better than Boss or Freeze, but I would say better than Eagle for today. It was a little rough, but the airtime was really good because that was in the front row blue frame, which I think is the best seat on this ride. The reason why I wrote this is because I'll also be doing Texas Stingray when I go to the San Antonio farm. I think the American car will be the closest thing compared to. So I figured I might as well ride this now before I go on the trip. But also, that means I'll need to ride Batman at some point today as well. See how that compares to how Batman is on the ride. Flew because it was so hot out and man was that a nice refresher i was like burning up a little video and i got decently wet which i wouldn't call it soaked but i actually would not have minded getting soaked because it would have felt amazing which i already feel amazing now even though i got a little bit wet i wouldn't have opposed to getting more wet anyway i'm gonna ride just sleep one more time now then go check some of the rest of the back of the park i mean i saw someone doing something on top of until a boss so i know that's not open right now but i might go get some more shots of the rides like maybe eagle or boomerang or maybe even go towards like batman or ninja just to sleep twice more instead of once more so I could get myself up to 1545. I'm thinking about going for 1555 by the end of the night, so I need 10 more. Definitely not impossible. If I come next Sunday, I could maybe try and shoot for 1570. Then I would have to try and get 30 on the one in Texas if I want any shot at getting my 600th in Texas, which I've never hit a milestone at another Six Flags Park because the only other Justice League I maxed up besides the one here in St. Louis is the one at Six Flags Great America back in 2021. was gonna do it a couple weeks ago with Ellis. Do you wanna say what's up? I remember the reason why we weren't gonna get on the train was because it was storming that day. Yeah, so. like right before we got on it, they closed all the rides for rain. So we're making that up by doing it right now. On your ride is Batman the Ride. Answer the call of this inverted looping thrill ride flying beneath the track for a series of five loops and rolls up to 50 miles per hour with your feet hanging. Experience the sights and sounds of Gotham City's park and underworld before entering the Batcave to board one of the greatest through rides ever created. Over on our left is Hurricane Harbor. On our right, round and round you go with 
will you stop? No one knows. Get ready to go spin sane on Spin Sanity today. Before World's Fair, we will be stopping here for a few minutes to take off. Once again, if you are leaving us here, you will please remain seated until the train comes to a full and complete stop, and then I say it is safe to exit. Several new items debuted, including a hot dog hamburger and the ice cream cone. This is over itself an amazing 14 times. Seven acres of man-made whitewater rapids. Both sides of the track ahead is Bucks Bunny National Park, a fun getaway for kids and parents alike. greatest thrill rides ever created. Into our left is Hurricane Harbor, Tunnel Baker Water Park. This travel up here is a stellar lineup of exciting water rides for the whole family. We would like to thank this time to tell you about the Six Flags Act. The app brings the park to your fingertips with an interactive map. Ryan Wade comes aboard. Download the Six Flags app on your online store and your device today to get the most out of the Six Flags experience. Bro, that last ride almost didn't work. Alice, unfortunately, was blocking me, so I couldn't really do it. Why hit me into? I was just too tall, dude. Yeah, it was, it was not his fault or anything. It just I got really, really unlucky. I think part of it is my fault because we were in car one, and I've not been in car one today. Alice was in the front, I was in the back. I didn't know if the red blast would be all screwed up, so I let the blue grain open in case Alice needed to uh, use it because red wasn't working. That wasn't necessary because red blast was working fine, and unfortunately, I was blocking all my shots. So I don't know how I got way too close to comfort, even though I. I got 100,000 with the second last year. I've never done a two hour marathon in my life, and my arms are not happy with me right now because of it. I had one ride that I was so close to a double max on, but someone screwed me over. They shot the Tiger Pails in the second screen, and that completely derailed my run. So that's very, very unfortunate. I think the longest marathon I had done up until this point was an hour and a half at Six Flags Over Georgia last year. That one was, I would say, just about as difficult because there wasn't as much downtime on that one. Whereas this one, I had to get off and get back on every couple minutes, or I was over Georgia, I'd stay on because I was literally in no line all day. So this marathon, definitely a tiring one. And I did not quite meet my goal of 15. 1560, so I'm like 1558 right now, or no, 1557, sorry. I came close, and that's all that matters. My ride count from today was 19 on Justice League, 4 on Boss, Mr. Freeze, and Rookie Racer, 2 on the Tommy G. Robertson Railroad, and then 1 on American Thunder, Log Flume, and Screaming Eagle. In terms of highlights, Boss was running really well today. American Thunder had some good power to it, even though it was on the rougher side. And then a two-hour marathon on Justice League, which is the most I've ever done that thing consecutively, and uh, my arms are not happy with it for it. Overall, I would say today was a very successful visit to my home park, and I might be coming back here next week one more time before I go to Texas, because I would love to hit my 1600th max score down at Six Flags over Texas on their Justice League, but only time will tell. Before I click off this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment away enjoy about this video, and be sure to share it with someone else. Yeah. If you're new to this channel, like we saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. My goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so I'd appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account with pictures I take whenever I visit a park, so be sure to check me out there as well via the link in the description. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you later.